Tony. Will the PGA go to a scramble type of system where guys that can't drive, can't putt, get designated putters? The highest level of play should have real players. Let me ask you about designated hitter universally. I don't have a problem with it. Well, if you want to see competitive baseball again, I think you might because it's the most expensive position in baseball. The average salary at designated hitter is higher than it is, is higher than any position in the game. We'll pay it. Over $7 million on average. Well, yeah, Bob, I'd love for them to pay it, but I'll do the same exercise I put you through last <laughs> segment. Do you think the Pirates actually will? Well, what are they going to do? Put Who's going to be their designated hitter then? They'll come up with somebody in their system who's... A revolving door of guys who are young players who Yoshi are Shisugo. not playing. Yes. That'll be your yeah. designated hitter, uh-huh. right? But, I mean, the Probably. point is, let's just take it for what it is. DH, do you like it or not, if you had a competitive team? Uh, I like the National League style of baseball because that's what I came up on. And even though I'm 36, sometimes I get out of bed and I feel like I'm 75. <laughs> and I think this is one of those things that instead of keeping me young is keeping me old and crotchety. I think working with Cook all those years wore <laughs> off on me a little bit, Bob. Let's go to Dave in South Park who joins us on the hotline. Dave, go ahead. Hi, Dave. Bob and Andrew, just a quick comment. Does anything that happened in baseball today with this new agreement should or does it make us feel any better about the Pirates? Um, no. I'm so lost and fed up about the Pirates. No. I just no. don't think anything matters. No, you're right. Uh, it doesn't change. I just, I like baseball. But Bob, I, I like it Bob, the biggest problem, the biggest problem I think is, even when you get a great player, aren't you just thinking, well, he's going to be gone five years from now, right. no matter what? Well, already Brian Reynolds' name's being mentioned as a tra- You know, they brought him here to be a centerpiece, or at least somebody who could be. And now his name's being out there. Who knows? You're the centerpiece of this show, Bob. No, you Forever are, Forever and always. I always enjoy working with you. Thanks for uh, being here. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 1035. Thanks for joining us on the Sports Call right here, CW and 93.7.